Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I'm the emperor of my universe, the universe of love. Because that's what this is going to be talking about. We're going to talk about love language. What does it mean? I had no idea until a couple of years ago. Like I said, this journey has taught me a lot in the, the, the terms that I'm hearing, like childhood traumas and ancestral curses and vibrations and energies and vampires and yeah, yeah, all this stuff is new to me, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, my way. And, you know, in the process, I, you know, will fall in love eventually again, but you have to understand your love language so you can fix it. And my love language has always been a very sexual encounter, very passionate, passion play. It's just not, you know, sometimes it would be deep, and a lot of times it would be me trying to fix somebody, knight in shining armor, and being flawed and broken myself and not healed, you know, it's just a mess. I always ended up a toxic mess regardless. Especially when you don't realize you need healing and your your love language is all twisted because, you know, both my parents had, my mother was like Liz Taylor, so 100, 100 boyfriends and, and married five times, literally. And my, my father was married to the same person for years who was a dominating, you know, like the evil stepmom, like totally, I'm Cinderella, not even shitting grounded for ages I ground I was grounded for a year I was living with them for like four years I was literally grounded for a year no shit couldn't go out and hang out with friends couldn't do nothing I was sneaking books home from the library so I could read so I wasn't bored out of my mind and I would bring home like um, Arabian Nights um, Arthurian legends you know Arthur um, and Robin Hood all romantic you know the Robin Hood and Marion uh, King Arthur had Guinevere, and Guinevere had Lancelot, you know, and, you know, there's, you know, I mean, it's, there's, and, of course, the Arabian Nights is basically about a woman trying to save her neck, at the same time, she's falling in love with the man who she's trying to keep from hurting her, and he's falling in love with her, and, and uh, you know, you gotta read the book, baby, but the point, point is, is, I was fortunate in that, in that, in, in that environment of toxic love, to find some kind of blessing and avenue, which would be romantic novels, you know, books like that, that made you, you know, want to aspire to have that kind of love, that, that, you know, soulmate, deep connection where, yeah, there's no other people and you don't think about anybody else. And, and the idea of somebody is seducing you away from that person is just, you know, you know, it's, it's comical. There's no, it's like, oh, come on, you're so sweet. You know, that kind of thing. And there's no, there's no, there's, there's, there's like zero, you know, worry or, you know what I mean? Trust issues, that kind of thing. It's done. Those things, barriers are broken. But that comes when you heal yourself and you heal your love language. And I'm still working on that. I've been celibate for 10, at least 10 years. And that's important. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. It sucks because it was fun. I mean, when it was done right. And I did tell my son when I gave him the talk a long time ago that sex is amazing. It is. But it pales in comparison to making love. You know, it just it doesn't it doesn't compare. And there's the difference. And I'd rather hold out for love and make love than have just sex. And it's just it's just not the same. I'm done I'm done selling for anything less, right? So learn your love language, find out what it is and, and how it was brought down from your parents and that kind of thing, and see where your flaws and fix it, baby. Fix yourself, heal your heart, love yourself, and, and rock it, and you'll be awesome. That's it. Love language. Interesting, right? Have a wonderful day. I love you, God loves you, and the universe is crazy about you and them genes, baby. Keep up the strut. Okay, bye.